Are you Dal O'Kan? Yeah, yeah, I come every week. It's probably about 10 years now. Has it got better over those 10 years? No, not really. Line those. Pull the grind. Have they got someone? This isn't the stadium of today's match. This is the stadium that destroyed a football club. It's 1999. Britney Spears is about to have the most popular song of the year and businessman George Reynolds will become chairman of Darlington FC. He paid off the mortgages of seven employees and bought them Mercedes cars. By 2001, Reynolds tried to sign Paul Gascoigne. Paul said no. But the intention was there. Darlow had played at their ground Feetham since 1883. Their average home attendance was around 4,000. But in 2003, Reynolds moved Darlington out. Reynolds built Darlow a new stadium, costing around £20 million. He named the stadium the Reynolds Arena. Creative. This is a man that had a huge mansion with his first wife Then his second wife, Susan, complained it brought too many memories of his first wife. So he demolished the whole thing and bought a whole new mansion for £7 million. The Reynolds Arena was opened with a capacity of 25,000. George Reynolds said this is one of Europe's best stadiums. 11,600 people bought tickets for the first match played here in 2003. Darlington were in the third division of English football and averaged 5,000 fans for the rest of the season. That's 20% capacity. In 2003, Reynolds had to liquidate his own business and he was in millions of pounds of debt to creditors. He also took a £4 million loan from a consortium to finish building the huge Reynolds Arena Stadium. He took this loan on behalf of Darlington FC. It all got very messy very quickly and journalists that were reporting on the downfall of Darlington would also say that he'd turn up to their houses at two in the morning threatening them. He even said himself in press conferences that if fans bad-mouthed him, he'd also turn up to their house. He's no longer with us, so he won't be turning up to my house. I'm not happy about that he's no longer with us. It's not a joke, just a fact. Just, just putting it out there. Otherwise, I, I would be shitting myself a little bit. Within six months of Darlington moving into the Reynolds Arena, George Reynolds put the club into administration. George Reynolds resigned as chairman and director of Darlington and left them with four million pounds of debt. So when he took over Darlington, they were in debt. He paid off the debt and then he gave them millions of pounds of debt out of the frying pan into the fire. This hurt and has continued to hurt Darlington for years. They spent the next 10 years suffering points deductions, relegations, they went into administration another two times. Darlington were expelled from the Football Association and a Phoenix club was founded called Darlington 1883. They started in the ninth tier of English football. Here's my favourite part of the story. The club became 100% fan owned and the fans paid off all the debts and money owed to HMRC by 2013. They sold the Reynolds, later known as Darlington Arena, to the local rugby union club and achieved three promotions from Division 9 in four seasons. In 2017, they were given permission to change the name from Darlington 1883 back to Darlington FC. Meanwhile, George Reynolds was arrested on suspicion of money laundering and £500,000 cash was found in his car. He also pleaded guilty to tax evasion and was given a three-year prison sentence. He lost everything. He died in 2021. Five minutes in, and everyone's come back because the linesman's pulled his car. I think that's why. Give it here, I'll do it. Might be a big bias. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Line those, pull the ground. Have they got someone? The, 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 it's supposed to be fourth official. Um, in the last year. Yeah. That's even going to affect it before. Well, it literally isn't. I can't tell if they found someone and they're just getting changed and taking a long time or if they still haven't found someone but if they still haven't found someone when are you gonna find someone do you know what I mean it's not like there's far to go
we're back underway. They found someone. And I'm trying to predict who it is because I didn't, I wasn't analysing the linesman before the game. I think it could be him. It might not be. For the level that Dalo are at at the moment, I think this is the perfect size of a ground because there's people packed into every corner. It's a good turnout, isn't it? They're about 1,600, I think. Wow. Are you a Dalo fan? Yeah, yeah. I come every week. I've been supporting them for about 10 years now. Has it got better over those 10 years? No, not really. <laughs> So you guys are all Darlington fans. Yeah. yeah. Cardiff. Cardiff. Cardiff City is your main team. So yeah. how come Darlow's your second team? Oh well, because my mum lives here and my dad's from like Wales. And how about you? So you're Borough. I'm Borough, yeah. Like I come to the Darlow games because I don't have a season ticket for Borough. Yeah. But I'm getting one like next season. Why do you come here then? Because uh, it's like, I don't know, football. I like football. Yeah. Coming to see the football, every opportunity you can get. It's the best thing you can do, really. My first team's United, but I just come to the Dalo games for something to do with my mates and just watch the footy. I like that a lot. That's why I like both Liverpool and Dalo, like, uh, equally, I'd say. So would you rather Darlington got back into the Football League and became a League Two club or Liverpool won the Champions League. I mean, it'd be good if Dalo got back into like League Two, so yeah. I'd probably go that. That's very selfless. I mean, Liverpool have already won like six Champions Leagues, so might as well have yeah. Dalo back up there. fascinating story on so many levels we've got people like george reynolds at lots of clubs in england and we have done for over 100 years it's just ridiculous that owners are not vetted properly to keep the memories and the names of these clubs alive how can one man come in and nearly destroy a club and if it isn't for that commitment of the fans and the community darlington would be gone and everything they've done to be a part of football and be one of the institutions in this country in the sport is just ridiculous that one man could literally destroy that but he couldn't though and that's the whole point all right see you later guys happy new year